Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird. Tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So this your brother Shapar, man. So I was thinking about this lesson, wanting to get into it. You know what I'm saying? I watched a couple of brothers' lessons. Um, the brother Gabar Dama, I watched a lesson by him. I'm a water bod, Elder Malcolm, uh, watch a little bit of brothers' lives, stuff like that. So I was thinking about it, man. The Bible starts and ends. With the 12 tribes of Israel, period. That's supersessionism, replacement theology, what your Christian pastors is telling you. All of that's lies, man. Clearly, the scriptures start and end with Israel. Let's get it. Let's start out in the beginning. Let's start out in the beginning. Let's get Exodus 24 and 4. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord and rose up early in the morning and built an altar under the hill and 12 pillars according to 12 tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel which offered burnt offering and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put in basins and half of the blood in he sprinkled on the altar and took the book of the covenant and read an audience of the people and they said all that the Lord have said will we do and be obedient this what led to us getting in trouble this why we was punished because this is after the Lord took us out of Egypt delivered us we made a covenant with the Lord we said we gonna do everything in the book and then we didn't do everything in the book <laughs> and Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant, which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. Then went up Moses and Aaron and Nadab and Habinu and 70 of the elders of Israel. And they saw the power of Israel and there was under his foot as it were paved work of sapphire stone and as it were the body of heaven in his clearness and upon the nobles of the children of israel he laid not his hand also they saw power and did eat and drink yeah israel man israel let's get this one let's get ezra, ezra six i think in 19 or maybe it's 17 this might be 17. Yeah, right? The, the, back, back to the covenant, right? Ezra 6 and 16. And the children of Israel, the priests and the Levites, and the rest of the children of captivity kept the dedication of the house of power with joy and offered at the dedication of this house of power a hundred bullocks, 200 rams, 400 lambs, and for a sin offering for all Israel, for all Israel, 12 he goats according to the number of the tribes of Israel, to the tribes of Israel. And they sent, and they set the priests in their division and the Levites in their courses for the service of power, which is at Jerusalem. As it is written in the book of Moses. We just read when Moses, who Moses was sprinkling blood on <laughs> and gave the, 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 the um laws to. Look, go down to um Let's keep reading. And the children of captivity kept the Passover upon the fourteenth day of the first month, for the priests and the Levites were purified together, all of them were pure. And killed the pa and killed the Passover for all the children of captivity and for their brethren the priests and for themselves and the children of Israel 
which were come out again of captivity, and all such as had separated themselves unto them from the filthiness of the heathen of the land to seek the power, the Lord power of Israel did eat. Lord power of Israel, man. Because Israel was only given the law, statutes, and commandments, man. The deal was with Israel, period. There's no place in there where the Lord say, I made a new deal with anybody else. There's not no scripture in there that say that, man. There's not no scripture in there that say that. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statue and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah. They have not known his judgments, man. They have not known his judgments, man. Second Samuel, let's get that one. Israel, the scripture, the Bible starts and ends with Israel. Period, man. Second Samuel 7, 10, and read a couple in here. Second Samuel 7 and 10. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel, for the whole world, for my people Israel, and I will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more as aforetime. And as since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, over my people Israel, over my people Israel, and have caused thee to rest from all thine enemies also, the Lord telleth thee that he will make thee in house. And when the days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed, thy seed, not body seed, according to the flesh. That gets you to Romans 9 and 10, um, 9, 1 through 5. Salakia. I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. See, forever. <laughs> I will be his father and he shall be my son. If he commit inequity, I will chasten him with the rod of men. And with the stripes of the children of men. Let's talk about Yahweh Shai, man. We're going to be established forever. Let's go down. Let's go down to, let's read 21. For thy word's sake and according to thine own heart, hast thou done all these great things to make thy servant know them. Wherefore, thou art great, O Lord, power, for there is none like thee, none like thee, neither is there any power beside thee according to all that we have heard with thy ears. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel. Second Samuel 7 and 23. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel, whom power went to redeem for a people to himself and to make him a name and to do for you great things and terrible for thy land before thy people, which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt, from the nations and their gods. For thou hast confirmed to thyself thy people Israel to be a people unto thee forever. And thou, Lord, art, <laughs> art become their power. Let's read this one again, man. Look at this, man. 2 Samuel 7, 2 Samuel 7 and... 24 for thou hast confirmed to thy to thyself thy people israel to be a people unto thee forever forever and thou lord art become their power and now o lord power the word that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house establish it forever and do as thou hast said, 
and let thy name be magnified forever, saying, The Lord of hosts is the power over Israel. And let the house of thy servant be established before thee. See? Israel, man. <laughs> Israel. Israel. Amos. This one came in my head. I wrote it down, but it still popped in my head. Amos. Nine and I think it's ten. Amos 9 and 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. We just read in 2 Samuel what the, <laughs> what the Lord promised was to David. That's what the Lord promised to David. Amos, let's get this one. Is it Amos? It's locking, not Amos. Acts, let's get this one. Acts. Then we go back to that one. Amos 3, Acts 5 and 29. Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey power rather than men. Because men will tell you that everybody is saved. The covenant is for everybody now, not for Israel. <laughs> the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him have power exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give, for, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Acts 5 and 31. Him have power exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Yeah, to Israel, forgiveness of sins. Let's get this back to Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your, punish you for all your inequities. Yeah, only Israel, man. Only Israel. Let's look. Deuteronomy is one and one. No, it's, um. The book of Deuteronomy, who was it re um, written to? One and one. These are the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on the side of Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran, Paran and Tophel, and Laban, and Hezboroth, and Dis Sahab. Three. And it came to pass in the 14th day in the 11th month of the first day of the month that Moses spake unto the children of Israel according, according unto all that the Lord had given him in a commandment unto them. And that will get us back to Exodus, the 24th chapter, when Moses came down and gave them the armed covenant. And they said, we will do it all. Let's get Deuteronomy 14 and 2, I think it is. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself <clears throat> above all the nations that are upon the earth. Yeah, Israel, man. All over the scriptures, the Lord chose Israel, man. Let's get Judges 3 and 12. We gonna go. We gonna go. We gonna go old beginning or the beginning of the 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 the, the story of the Bible and the ending, cause that's what it pretty much is. It's a, it's a, it's a story. It's telling you what happened to the Israelites. Period. What happened to the Israelites? This is what the Bible is. What happened to the Israelites and what will happen to the Israelites? And the ending is what's gonna happen to the one third of the Israelites <laughs> and the two thirds of the Israelites. Judges chapter 3 and 12. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. This is why we got went through what we went through, man. 
And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. That's why we needed Yahweh Shah. And the Lord strengthened Eglon, the king of Moab, against Israel because they had done evil in the sight of the Lord. Yeah. This, this is why we went through it. This is why we going through what we going through now. 15, but when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord raised them up a deliverer, the, a deliverer, e Elog, the son of Gera, a Benjaminite, a man left-handed, and by him the children of Israel sent a present unto Eglon, the king of Moab. Yeah, so when we go off, we turn back to the Lord, and the Lord will remember his, his promises, his covenant that, that he made with our forefathers, man. Luke 1 and 69. Easy. It's plain. It's plain as day, man. It's plain as day. The Bible starts and ends with the Israelites, man. Period. Point blank. They telling you something different. They lying. They just lying, man. They lying so they could keep things just going the way it is. Smooth, smooth sailing. We could keep passing the collection plates. And we could keep them dumbfounded. Confused. Let's go Luke 1 and 68. Blessed be the Lord power of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David by the seed. We read that earlier. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to be remembered his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our eminent enemies might be, might serve him without fear. Yeah. Locking, just read and saying, yeah, yeah. So let's get get a couple more. So it starts and it ends with Israel. Let's get this one right here. Let's get one more. Exodus twenty eight, Exodus twenty eight and twenty one. Exodus twenty eight twenty one. And the stones, nah, let's go up. Mm. Ooh. This, now watch, watch this though. Let's watch this one though. Four, um, Exodus 28 and 16. Four square, it shall be being doubled. A span shall be the length thereof, and a span shall be breadth thereof. And thou shalt set in it settings of stones, even four rows of stones. The first row shall be of sardinus, a topaz, and a, comp a compicule. This shall be the first row. The second row shall be an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. And the third row, a ligur, a, a agite, and an amorous. And the fourth row, a beryl, and an onyx, and a jasper, they shall be set in gold in, the, in their enclosings. And the stones shall be with the names of the children of the twelve, uh, the children of Israel, twelve according to their names, like the engraving of the signet, everyone with his name shall they be according to the 12 tribes right now watch this i want to read all of that because then you get over here to revelation told you start in, in with israel man 21 and 10 revelation 21 and 10 and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city the holy jerusalem Descending out of heaven from power, having the glory of power, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, crystal as clear, and that a wall 
great and high, had twelve gates, and all the gates twelve angels, and the names that written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, on the west three gates, and the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the walls thereof. And the city, watch this, and the city lieth four square, square. we just was reading that, right? <laughs> and um, what was the um, Exodus, right? And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as a breath, and the measure of the city with the reed twelve thousand forlorn, forlorns, the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof a hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, and, and of a man that is of an angel. And the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was of pure, um, pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manners of precious stones. We just read that, right? <laughs> we just read that in Exodus. And in the beginning, here you go back at the end. Be start and end with Israel. And the foundations of the walls of the cities were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, second sapphire, the third cladocion, the fourth for emerald, fifth sardonyx, sardonyx, the sixth sardius. We read that. We just read that one before. Seventh clasonite, eighth beryl. We read that one. The ninth for topaz, tenth cherif. Phasaurus, the eleventh of Jonix, and the twelfth of Amorix, yeah. and the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every se several gate was a one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. This is just what we read in Exodus, man. We just read that. We just read that in Exodus twenty-eight and eleven. Um, 21, I mean, Salakia, you go back there and tell, it's giving you the stones right there. It's giving you the stones. Look, the stones right here. We just read them. There go the stones again. It's telling you according to the 12 tribes right there. So, yeah, man. Again, man, they telling you lies. We going to close out with this one right here. Matthew 19 and 28. Let's get that one. <laughs> they telling you lies, man. They telling you lies, man. Then answered Peter 27, Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes. So where's anybody else at me? If <laughs> they've been explaining the whole time for the twelve tribes of Israel. If they've been explaining this, they even telling you how it's going to look, all of the different stones that's going to be in the city and all of the, and, and how it's broken down and they got it to the, to the exact measurement. Where does any other tribe get in that, man? Again, man, the Bible starts and ends with Israel, period. So with that one, man, we're going to close out all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukha HaKwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird. Tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations to the remnant, men, women, children. Remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yashirala and the Baba Baba. Baraka Thumb family.
Shalom.